Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Star Citizen. I am the Space Court, and I will be your host today. Uh, today, we have, uh, I believe it's day 5, or day 4 of the IAE. Uh, at New Babbage, today is going to be Trump, Tumbrel, and Crusader Day. Uh, so I think there's going to be some exciting stuff, so we're going to take a look at that. And then we're going to take a look at some missions. Since I'm around Microtech, I'm going to try some missions around there. Uh, might try to do the 890 jump again. Uh, this time, I'm going to try to not run out of ammo. <laughs> uh... But yeah, other than that, I hope everybody's doing great, and uh, yeah, let's, let's get straight to it, right? All right, we're on the playing screen. All right, let's go. I am not going to be joined by anyone today. Uh, it's going to be just me, but if uh, anyone's going to join me along the way, that's that's fine. I think uh, Theus and Nylon are going to be around in about 30 minutes, so. But in the meantime, uh, if anyone's here yet, uh, how are you liking the IAE? Uh, how were your impressions of the of the expo halls so far? Uh, personally, I absolutely loved the Anvil and Aegis halls. Hey, Black, how are you doing? Finally caught me live. Excellent. Finally. How are you doing, man? How how are you liking the expo so far? I'm uh, I think I'm pretty good. I I, I like the uh, like the Aegis hall was really good, uh, and the Anvil hall as well. But I'm looking forward to Origin right now. I'm looking forward to Origin and Misk. Because I'm curious to see, uh, you know, hear more about the, that new Odyssey ship they're going to be putting out. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to buy it, but, <laughs> but I think it's going to be pretty cool. And also, I mean, there's going to be Argo, and they're going to have their raft, uh, which I heard is going to be straight to flyable. So that should be interesting. I, I did hear about some stats on it. It's not exceptional, but it's pretty good. Yeah, I also wish I had more time to fly rentals, though. I've been flying a little bit more. Uh, my friend uh, picked up Star Citizen like two weeks ago, and she's learning, so we we're like doing random things, and we were flying a lot of the rentals and that stuff. Uh, but yeah, I do also enjoy the audio editions. That's actually a very cool technology, or a very cool feature. It's very minor, uh, but I think it's a good testing ground for this. Uh, I am kind of curious to see how they apply it further. I think they could... Uh, Possibly re rework some of the missions to use this. We will see. But yeah, it's 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 a very cool. It's it's a very minor feature, but it it really shows kind of the development they have been doing on like info boards and like having video in game. Like if if I don't know if you've noticed, they did it actually on the last IAE as well. I think where they had actually the ship commercials play on screens around the IAE. It was either IAE or Invictus. I'm not sure now. I think it was the IAE already. So they're, they've been like pushing the new building blocks UI a little bit further with everything they've been doing, and I like that. It's, it's good. You know, it shows that uh, they're progressing with the technology, and I'm pretty sure something's wrong. Oh, it's loading the expo. So I guess I'm loading in. All right. Okay, there we go. Now I'm loaded. I was actually loading in yesterday, and it took like 10 minutes and then crashed, uh, which is kind of weird. Because I, I mean, they, we have had like very long lo loading times, especially when you are at New Babbage and uh, you know the expo and and everything. It's it's, it's you know you know how it is. But <laughs> uh, but yeah, but I've had some like very long loading times, and I haven't actually looked at the telemetry for three fifteen one yet. I think I'm gonna give it like a week or two after the IE before I look to see if uh, the loading times have changed compared to three fifteen and then three fourteen. If you guys don't know what the telemetry is, it's a little website. It's uh, telemetry.robertspaceandstreet.com that actually shows you various stats about the game, like uh, loading times and frame rates and the hardware that people have and that kind of stuff. And it's very interesting to see some of that. A little laggy today, but we're going to give it a second to load it, load everything in. After all, New Babbage is pretty big. And uh, it should, however, be... Oof. Okay, there we go. It should be all loaded on the server because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person at New Babbage right now. But it's but it's all kind of streaming in to my side right now. It's actually it actually really ties up into the video I did on ser server meshing and OCS. Basically, what you got is you have the object containers being loaded onto the server when they are in use, like when someone is there. Like, you know, I'm here, so right now the New Babbage object container is loaded on the server. But at the same time, uh, that object container needs to be streamed to me as well because I need to need to be seeing it as well. Also, here's a here's a really funny bug in New Babbage. 
Look at this. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and it just appears when you're... It feels like it's the hallway above me or something like that. It's really weird. Anyway, let's uh, let's get to the expo. And then we'll leave me here. Anyway, so, so those object containers, they actually have to load in. Yeah, that that is true. It always tanks when there's a live event, uh, but I, I feel like it's been very good. Like, I haven't had... The, I have had a shit ton of desync, and I've had, like, uh, other people's characters being all weird. Like, last night I was on with my friend, and her character was just kind of, like, twisting on itself. Like, the more we walked around, the more twisted her character was. It was really creepy. Uh, but, like, it's, it's pretty good. Like, I, I think once you get out of New Babbage, like, performance is good, because there's so much more stuff at New Babbage, because you basically... Uh, the IAE is basically its own object container, and it has a shit ton of stuff in it. And kind of the problem there is that all the halls are in place already. Uh, they just kind of change up uh, based on time. So, and we're going one more, right? No, we're not, okay. So, you know, there's there's a lot going on. So, you know, performance, in at least in the new Babbage area, is going to be good. But like you, like you said, uh, it's much better than... It's much better than any other live event in, you know, ever since we've had live live events. Like, I mean, I remember the first Invictus, when the game was literally unplayable for, for a couple of days. And that was pretty good. I was actually expecting worse, like, I think, uh, uh, like, the first live events that we had, uh, kind of... Yeah, that was painful. <laughs> like, the first Invictus, when it was uh, impossible to even log in. Because the login servers didn't work. Uh, which hall is the Zenith hall? Okay. So that that was uh, oof. And I think that I, that has left a lot of people kind of wary of of live events, where like when the IE like the first day of IE, I actually didn't even log in. I was like, okay, you know what? It's the first day of the IE. It's the first day of the free fly. I'm gonna you know I'm gonna not not play today. And I could have because the performance was actually good. Uh, see that that's what I meant. Like it has like not this one, but you know it's got some animations, and that one has some commercials on there. I like that. Yeah, the uh, yeah the thing with the with Invictus was fireworks, and fireworks are for some reason terribly unoptimized in this game. Uh, and that that was that was a huge mistake that they put that in there actually. All right, let's go check it out. So they got all the all the herks now. Last last time we had Herx on display, the A2 was not ready. Let's see. I got the Tonk. I'm actually gonna rent the Tonk because I kinda wanna kinda wanna screw with that, I think. Ah. Very nice. Yeah, this is good stuff. Yeah, I do like the Herc. It's it's a very good ship. If you if you guys remember my review on the Hercules, it was it was very positive. And right, look at that. Oh, they actually changed the look of this. No, they didn't. Okay. Right, let me just rent a Tonk real quick. I don't know if I'm gonna use it today, but uh, I don't know. Might might find a way. And let's do the seat. Actually, you know what? Let's do the M2. I, I prefer the M2 actually. And there's actually something that I wanted to take a look at, uh, because I've been told that the M2 now has a kitchen. Which, for some reason, that was a, that was something a lot of people complain about, about the M2. That it doesn't have a kitchen, even though it doesn't really... Uh, there is no reason for it to have a kitchen, basically. Driving the Tonk... Anywhere, uh, like the driving physics are completely broken right now. Like there is no traction. You have no traction in any vehicle at all. And, and it doesn't. I thought it would get fixed in three fifteen, because I heard some mentions that it it might be getting fixed, but it didn't. Uh, it's better. It's better. It it was much worse in three fourteen, but uh, it's not fixed, by by any means. Yeah, the thing I, that I actually really like about uh. The Herc is that it has so much storage, and you actually have like all this storage area and everything. There you go. Open, and you got inventory. Well, it's not gonna let you open it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I I have actually done that. I I have actually done that. Okay, so it's gonna be an auxiliary crew. 
Now this is gonna be the armory and some bathrooms. I do, however, like the setup they have going here, with the with the armory and everything. Uh, let's see, habitation. So, so probably here's gonna be the supposed kitchen. Kitchen. Oh wow, they actually did have a kitchen. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. So they actually just like took the T2 kitchen and just slapped it in here. It's pretty small, so I, I don't think that, that was much of a problem. Can I, can I change the lights? Or no, that's not the light. Oh, it is the light panel. Okay. Yeah, this is good. I, I still think that the Hercules should, should have uh, captain's quarters uh, separately. But then again, I said that about the MSR as well. And uh, on the Herc, it would be slightly harder to do Captain's Quarters separately. On the MSR, it would be somewhat doable. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go... No, not top deck, I'm gonna go lower deck. Yeah, and y you know, uh, the thing with Crusader, uh, as I have found out, is that like the ships are not that terribly expensive. Like, I think the MSR is like 4 million or something like that, so uh, you absolutely can actually earn it in-game. Which which is what I really like about, about Crusader. Is that while you can have that very, like, very high standard of execution in it, but it's also very affordable at the same time. Now, I don't remember now uh, how much the Herc costs, actually, but... Uh, or even if it's on sale in-game yet. But it should be because it's 3.15, so it has been one major patch since release. But I don't know how much it costs right now, so... I know that the MSR was like 4 million, I think. And it's, it's a pretty good ship. Alright, let's take a look at... Uh, there we go. Yeah, the Starfighter is there. That is... Uh, I, I didn't actually get... So I wanted to actually do a review on the Starfighter. But I didn't get enough flight time on it. Oh, it has more. Oh, it has some missiles right there. I didn't really get enough flight time on it in the PTU. I was more more focused on the Redeemer. Uh, but like, if I were to like give it a very short review, it's it's amazing. Like it has that Crusader feeling to it. It's it's fast. It's agile for its size, which is kind of a staple of Crusader, really. Where like if you look at the MSR and the Herc, they're very fast, very agile, both of them. Starfighter, same thing. Uh, it is definitely going to fill its intended role. Uh, I think you know it's going to be pretty good at taking out large targets, especially when you bring in more of them. Uh, however, it is going to be vulnerable to AA fire, and it's going to need some escorts. It's not going to be a. It's, it's not going to be like you know. Oh, here is a single starfighter. I'm gonna. What the hell is that? I'm going to. I'm going to knock out the. Uh, Ladder. I'm going to knock out the. Uh, I like both, uh, but I generally use pew pew because uh, it's just more reliable. And you know, I usually go out, and if I do bounties, I'll be doing bounties for two hours, so I don't want to go go back and rearm. I, I want to know what is this thing on top? Oh, it's the component base. That's cool. That is very cool. But yeah, so but I do. So you know, when we got the capacitor rework, I would heavily use energy weapons. Uh, but then I kind of started doing some experimenting on that, and ultimately, you're always gonna end up better off when you combine ballistics and energy weapons because that way you have more fire in your energy weapons and you have, you know, that ballistic advantage. So I've been using uh, either Gatlings. I, I went back to Gatlings. Uh, they do have very low ammo count. Uh, but they do also do a lot of damage. And uh, now I've been kind of... Uh, in 315 PTU, I've been actually experimenting with cannons instead because they have more range on them generally. And generally they match in range to energy weapons. And they also have a better punch, so when you have someone who is far away from you and they're coming at you and you shoot a couple rounds at them, you know... Especially when you use something that has explosive ammo, which is most cannons, actually. Uh, so you will kind of end up with... Uh, Taking their shields down a little bit as well as damaging them, and then your energy weapons have an easier time. And, you know, more ammo in the energy guns and all of that. Oh, definitely, a, definitely a good, uh, good haul.
today uh, with uh, with Tumbrel. Actually, I uh, I wanted to check out the Ranger the hologram before we leave. But generally speaking, you know, uh, on fighters you have to combine it. If you have a gunship or something, you generally have enough capacitor to have energy weapons, and it's usually going to be better because if you're in a gunship, you're going to be in a fight for a long time. If you're in a fighter, you know the combat time is not not that not that long. The MT is looking pretty good. The A is looking completely useless, and the TR looking good as ever. And then you know if you're if you're doing something that's third heavy like a hammerhead, so what I would like to kind of see is uh, once the Redeemer uh, Gatlings that are going to be for sale and available, I think they're going to fit on the hammerhead, so I would like to see that because they do have quite a lot of ammo as well. Oh right, I forgot that the RC even exists. Okay, the, it, like I only ever see the RC during the Daymart rally. And so, so that I, so I forget that it exists because I usually run the stock or uh, or the TR. The RN is looking very good as well, but you know it, it just needs a little bit more use to it. There we go. Just rent some cyclones, try out some ground vehicles because I usually buy my ground vehicles in game. That's why I can't wait for the Spartan to be available in game as well. Because the Spartan is actually very cool. Like, not, not enough to talk about on the Spartan to make a full review, unfortunately. But, uh, still pretty exciting. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's the Starliner. Nice. Oh, it's gonna take so long before we see this. Looking good, though. Uh, though I think it's gonna go through a redesign. Because it doesn't look quite Crusader. So, so I think it's gonna have a little bit of a redesign to it. Yeah, there's no point in buying ground vehicles. Uh, they're usually pretty cheap. Like the cycle is like seventy six thousand credits, which is not not a whole lot. Like the dragonfly and the Nox is expensive, but you know it's not like you're gonna buy more than one ever. No, oh, the range is looking pretty good. I think that might actually be like one to one. I actually bought the Ranger uh, back when it was released, uh, but since it has been upgraded, because I mostly used it as a LTI token, so. It's, it's been upgraded a bunch of times since. All right. All right, I think I think that that's it for the IAE. So let's uh, let's go get some stuff done. So I'm like one delivery mission away from uh, having the advanced delivery missions. So I think I'm actually gonna do that. I'm gonna try the level two delivery, just to see what it's what it's about. I might die because apparently you get shot at quite a lot. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, so let's go. Let's get back to. Uh, let's get back to the elevators. Everything is looking pretty good. Yeah, so far so good. Yeah, so so generally, you know, when you think about it, uh, it's always going to be uh, ages and origin that they're going to have the biggest hauls because they have the most ships. Then it's going to be anvil. Uh, I think they had two halls or three horse halls possibly. Ah, uh, well, so here is actually kind of a thing about the delivery mission chain that I found out by. So I wanted to get to the second mission, so I started doing deliveries, and I found out another thing while doing that is that every single outpost in the game has lootable boxes spawning, and you can get some very interesting stuff in there, uh, like. There's almost always some guns. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Fucking elevators. Oh well. We're gonna take a detour through the uh, through the hospital. <laughs> but yeah, so they have lootable boxes and they have... Uh, there's Sometimes there's armor. Uh, nothing too, ex too exciting though. Uh, there's weapons. And there's usually a lot of weapons, weirdly enough. Uh, I've picked up a bunch of SMGs, pistols, knives. Shit ton of ammo and attachments, like uh, attachments that you can't even buy in shops, which is pretty cool. And more importantly, they have like uh, commodities, like the stuff that you can pick up in caves, like the fungus or something. 
I had no idea either, but uh, hey, then I went to do, this, do some deliveries and hey, found some lootable boxes. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, and I like that uh, when you get knocked out in, in the city, they come and get you. So that's very nice. Anyway, let's let's get uh, let's get my gear back on, and let's go. Okay, so we need another suit. I'm gonna take the crappy undersuit that I got for free, in case I die, obviously. But yeah, they do spawn. They they don't spawn in like massive quantities. There's usually like two, three, and you kind of have to look for them. Uh, and generally, I don't even pick up some of the stuff, some of the commodities, uh, because it's just annoying because there's no transfer all button still. Like, you know, I, I, I would have thought that would be like one of the first things that would come up like, oh, we're doing an inventory system and you're going to have to drag things. So, you know what, let's do a drag, you know, let's do a transfer all button just to make it slightly less annoying. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know, you can double click items in your inventory and it's going to equip them. Kind of a little note, in case you didn't know that. And you see, I actually have stuff in, in my backpack that I picked up from uh, the last time I, I was doing deliveries. Like, I got some magazines, got some attachments, got a knife. I uh, picked up a helmet. So I think I'm actually going to, like, offload all of this. And, like, I, I picked up a bunch of guns. Like, I don't think I'm going to buy guns for for a while now. And by the way, this new armor is really good. It, uh, it's a heavy armor. Uh, it comes with a backpack. It's not as big as the environmental suit, like the Navikov and the Pembroke. Uh, but it's, I think, like 10,000 below that. So, so it's actually not, not so terrible. And you know, I, I'm going to take a pistol. Right? Fuck yeah, I'm going to take a pistol. And we have, do I actually have any ammo for it? I don't, I don't know if I picked up any any magazines. Probably not. Yeah. It's fine. What kind of a gunfighter would I be if I couldn't uh, defend myself with one pistol magazine? <laughs> he said right before running out of ammo in a firefight. And like, uh, the thing that I actually didn't realize about the new Babbage Hospital until I got hospitalized is how huge this place is actually. That's a room, isn't it? Yeah. God damn it. Yeah, it is, however, confusing. There we go. That's the that's the elevator right there. No, that's the restroom. Where's the goddamn elevator? There's the elevator. Okay. Like, I, I never actually realized that it has multiple floors. And it has so many floors. <laughs> like, look at that. What do we got? We got five floors on this thing. And for some reason, it usually spawns you not in the clinic at the bottom, but it spawns you at the very top of the place, which I think is annoying. Right, we're ready to uh, pick up a delivery. Let's just go uh, downstairs and uh, first I got to get out of here. So yeah, that's the exit. Because there are actually room, rooms downstairs. But yeah, it's uh, definitely liking the look of the hospital. I actually uh, happened to visit Grimhex. Uh, the other night, and the hospital there, uh, I would definitely not want to stay there. Hey, you can just walk through the wall. There we go. Okay, got, gotta help out the, the confused new guys. Man, so I actually went to Grimhex and I saw the hospital there and like I would not want to get treated there. Uh that that place definitely looks like uh like infection. Like you're gonna need a nice dose of antibiotics if, if you get any work done there, but uh it fits the style, like it fits the style perfectly. You just need some uh, some doctors running around and just like blooded uh, scrubs. And I like that there's a trail of blood leading into the clinic. It's very fitting for Grimhex. Right, let's grab a grab a mission while we're uh, in transit. So we got delivery. 
I kind of want to have a delivery to New Babbage. There we go. So I kind of want to do Michael 1, though. Yeah, there we go. So I want to do a delivery to New Babbage because then the, that's going to be my last box. Hopefully that's going to bring me over the reputation that I'm going to be able to pick up a weapon while I'm at New Babbage and just go. All right, collect package. Yeah, it definitely does feel like a place like that. And you know what? I imagine a lot of people do. Because, I mean, it is Grimhex, so I wouldn't be surprised if there was uh, some kind of a black market organ harvesting thing going on. Then again, uh, I'm pretty sure in Star Citizen, they have a way to regrow organs, so there's probably not, not much of a market for organs, unless, unless the Vandal are buying human livers for, for food. Uh, but, uh, yeah. And, I mean, when you think about it, Technically, it doesn't really matter anymore, because if there's something wrong with you, and it's like, oh, he needs new lungs, then at that point, it might just be easier to just, like, have someone shoot you in the head, so you get regenerated. So it might be cheaper. Well, well they haven't really, like, said much about, like, the deeper medical systems. But, you know, we'll see, we'll see. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Loading, you know, loading in the entities has been a little weird. But yeah, you know, uh, we'll see. I, th I think uh, eventually there's going to be a cost to medical stuff. Like, I, I think regeneration is probably going to be free always. Because there's there's the penalty of, uh, of your imprint being damaged. Uh, but coming into a clinic and needing healing, that's probably going to cost money. So ultimately, it's probably, you know, if you're a player and until... Uh, damage to your imprint is, is a thing. It might just be cheaper to uh, die. <laughs> so I'm gonna take the Pisces. Uh, it is it is the fastest way to do a delivery. It is absolutely the fastest way to do a delivery. Uh, no questions asked. Because it's just fast in atmosphere, especially when you're, especially when you're doing missions around Microtech, where you have to fly through the atmosphere. Is definitely faster uh, when you're doing missions around Port Elisar, where you generally don't go to Orison ever, where you can avoid going to Orison very easily. Then it's not not that uh, you know it's not that bad to fly the Avenger because you kind of have more stuff on there and you can grab a little bit of cargo if you want. Yeah, exactly. So I think the rapid the regeneration system is actually very well thought out even though people complained about it but basically you know if you die occasionally uh you know not not, not much is going to happen to you like if you're careful you try not to die you try to survive you know you you walk away and fight another day you may pay some money on on medical bills uh but you're not going to have the reputation cost and you're not going to be having a more more and more damaged characters i mean obviously if you had get you know critically injured you might need a new limb or something and that's going to affect your gameplay somehow but you know just reckless, recklessly dying over and over you're gonna lose your imprint and you're gonna have to make a new character you're gonna lose some of your money you're gonna lose some of your property you're gonna lose some of your reputation and that's not good so that you're, you don't want to do that i mean obviously it's gonna happen you know you're not gonna be able to avoid dying that's you just can't oh the pisces is also my favorite it's not my favorite starter. My favorite starter is the Avenger. Uh, but it's definitely my favorite small ship. Because it, it can get so many things done. Like, for delivery, it's absolutely perfect. Especially when you're uh, running around trying to deliver things around planets. Where you have, uh, you know, a lot of atmospheric flying and, and all that. I always forget that it jumps off the pad like that. I think I... I hit my wings there a little bit, but that's fine. Okay, I didn't lose anything. Okay, we'll be out of here in a second. And I need to figure out where am I picking up things. Okay, looks like I'm picking up things on Microtech. Ah, uh, Shubin Mining. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna go by Marker because Microtech is just impossible on the star map. Yeah, you see, like, I, I'm flying through Atmo and I'm going, I'm speeding up, I'm going pretty much almost full speed, or, 
you know, goes all the way to my uh, to my speed limiter. It's a very very cool ship. Oh, yeah, I, I'm very glad I have one, uh, if only for just like flying things in and out. If if only I just need to like fly myself to Tressler, or to like oh need to fly myself to an outpost to do something. Also, I I use it for photo shoots as as a camera ship. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, like, I, I use the Pisces for photo shoots as a camera ship because it can actually keep up with fighters. <laughs> like, I would be doing maneuvers with, like, sabers and arrows and gladiuses, and I would just be flying, like, I'd be flying circles around them in, in the Pisces. It's just that fast and that maneuverable. And, you know, if I if I need... Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to go to, to Port Dressler because Quantum's broken. See, so yeah, you broke Quantum again. And, and you know if I need if I if I'm doing ground stuff I can just load a couple people on, you know get them from point A to point B. Good stuff. I usually use it to, like when I'm on a planet and I have ground vehicles, uh, then I like to use the Pisces to pick someone up, and like drop them off on top of a tank or something, and it makes for a very good picture. I think we had a picture like a year ago. Where we had a guy standing on an Earth sign, we had a bunch of Marines around, they were looking at some Carex. Might have actually been longer than that. Because I used that shot in the uh, advanced camera tutorial, and the advanced camera tutorial was like two years ago almost. Alright, let's go, let's go pick up these boxes. Let's go uh, loot this outpost. If they have anything good, and let's try not to die. Because I have died like four or five times from wind. Uh, and it's actually, I, I thought it was intended. I thought it was uh, I thought it was a feature uh, where the wind actually knocks you out or knocks you down. Because I mean, now when you have leg damage, uh, wind will knock you over. Yeah, wind is brutal. And it's, it's all the planets, it's, it's all the moons, surprisingly, as well. Uh, but yeah, basically, I thought it was a feature because now that... You know, uh, force reactions affect you on foot. When your legs are wounded, uh, wind can actually knock you over. So I thought that was kind of a side effect of that. Yeah, but apparently it's a bug, uh, which is not good. I think what happened is that, like, oh, we would like wind to knock you over if you are wounded. Uh, but the wind is not strong enough. Like, the force reactions of wind are not strong enough. So you know what? We're going to increase the strength of force reactions of wind. And nobody bothered to check if it if it doesn't knock you over when you're just walking around and you're not hurt. <laughs> but that's fine, you know. That's that's just you know it needs tweaking. And that's that's what we're here for. It's, it's gonna be better on the next patch and the next patch. So, but, but generally speaking, weather has been a little unsatisfactory to me. Especially like never mind the moons. Uh, but when you think about it, every single planet except Crusader in the Stanton system is terraformed. Every single one. Hurston was terraformed, Microtech was terraformed, even though they fucked up, and Arcorp was terraformed. So you wouldn't think there would be like hurricane strength winds 24-7. <laughs> and especially once, and they're gonna have to change that, especially once atmospheric conditions are gonna affect flight. Because at that point, you know, if, if there is like hurricane strength wind 24-7, nobody's gonna be able to land anywhere. Okay, so it looks like we're picking up two buildings. I think I'm going to go for the pad in the middle here. And it sure is shitty weather outside. So I am definitely going to get knocked over as soon as I walk out of the ship. Which is going to be just great. I did tweet about this stream, right? <laughs> oh, didn't get knocked over? Nice. I guess I guess the weather have calmed down for a little bit. And I feel like they have actually changed how trees look. I feel like they look a little better than they than they used to. I didn't spend a whole lot of time on Microtech in the previous patches, to be honest. I usually hang out around Porto, uh, but this patch actually was like, you know what, I, I gotta base myself somewhere else for a little bit. So I'm gonna do Microtech now. Like, I don't think I'm going to be doing too many bounties, and if I want to do bounties, I'm just going to go to Hurston. Alright, let's see. We got... Right here, look at that. Yeah, we got a weapon box. What do we have in it? Salvo pistol. 
I only have like six of those. Uh, <laughs> I'll take an arc light magazine though. It's pretty useful. And I'll take the zap pistol. And I also have the arrowhead, so I'm gonna just I'm not gonna take everything because then I would just be dragging over and over everything. And I don't really need more of those things. So some, so usually, so there's either a box over here in that corner, or there's a box or two in this corner. Uh, let me pick up the box, and they're gonna be, there's probably gonna be another box in the second building. Like, you, you just gotta, like, keep up. Like you, you know, you have to be aware of your surroundings, and you also need to have, like, you need to remember what the boxes look like. Because, like, I didn't notice it the first time. And then I noticed, uh, then we actually went and we searched a bunker to find all the boxes. And we only found one. And I remembered that one, and then I found that one at an outpost. And I was like, okay, so there are lootable boxes at outposts. So I actually went and uh, searched. And I went to a bunch of outposts, and I found a bunch of boxes, and I took pictures of all of them. And I made a post on the ADI forums like, hey guys, uh, boxes spawn on every outpost, here are pictures of the boxes, here's what they contain, uh, keep an eye out for them, get some free stuff. <sighs> Microtech is beautiful. I really like this planet. It, it looks like the mountains in Slovakia in winter, and, and, like, and I like that. It's very nice. Alright. We got two boxes in here, and this is I don't I didn't check what the building was, but uh, it might have some lootables in it as well. So I'm gonna search. Oh, I think this is mining control. Yep. So there are sometimes boxes around these uh, rooms here. Nothing here. Anything here? Nope. You just gotta look. That's all you gotta do. Just gotta look. No. Nothing in. Oh, is that one? Nope. It's there on the shelf there. Okay, nothing that can be looted in this building. I might check the other building, see if there's anything, but generally speaking, I, right now I'm mostly looking for like weapons, so. But yeah. Good stuff. So if, if the reputation is correct, and I'm actually doing this on my own, so I should get more reputation because I was doing the uh, invest I was doing the delivery missions with my friends. So now I don't know if this was the case before, uh, but I definitely noticed that now is that when you uh, have a mission that gives reputation and you're sharing that mission with someone, it's not gonna give everybody the reputation. It's gonna split the reputation reward between however many of you are there. So like trying to do the base delivery missions with two people uh, was actually really difficult like it took us like i think this is like my 15th mission and it obviously decays over time so you gotta catch up and i did you know i think i'm still like one mission away so it should be good all right let's go get the final box But I've been here for like five minutes and there's still no wind and shitty weather. What, what is this? The calmest outpost in on Microtech. Right, let's go. And I'm just kind of sad that they broke quantum. That you can't, uh, that generally quantum fails now. That's kind of sad. But I think it's going to go back to normal when uh, the IAE is over. Because I think it's a server performance issue. Where I think... I think it's something along the lines of, like, the client goes like, oh, I would like the quantum. And the server says nothing, because the server can't catch up. So the client's like, oh, it timed out, try again. But what do I know? But what do I know of the internal structure of Star Citizen? And actually, kind of a fun thing that happened to me this morning. 
I woke up and I'm like, oh, it's sunny and blue skies and everything. I'm like, nice, finally, after like a week of, uh, of rain and clouds and shitty weather. And then I go outside to go to class and uh, immediately found out why is it so, so sunny and, and blue skies and everything. Because it was fucking freezing. That's why. And, you know, me not having, you know, not, I didn't check weather because, I mean, it's nice outside. Come on, it can't be cold, right? And obviously wearing clothes that was that were not suitable for freezing temperatures, I got a little cold on my way to school. And I didn't want to go to back, I didn't want to go to, didn't want to go back home because I was late. So, all right, so I think, I think all of these deliveries are actually on Microtech. Or are they? They are, okay. Well, that's gonna be somewhat painful. It's fine though, with the Pisces it's fine. Like with the Avenger, the Avenger actually throttles with atmospheric resistance. So you're only gonna get like 250, 300 meters per second max. So you're gonna be flying into outposts a little bit. You generally speaking, don't, don't want that. So you don't wanna be using Afterburner too much. Then again, you know, the Avenger does have a pretty good capacitor recharge on the on the engines, so could work. Alrighty, box number one. Uh, we're gonna leave New Babbage for the last one. So we're not gonna do New Babbage first. We're gonna do everything else first. And then we're gonna drop off the last one at New Babbage. Uh, Alright, yeah, I'm gonna have to go to an OM. So the thing that seems to work uh, with the quantum right now is that just to go to an OM and then go to your target adds a little bit of work, but at least, you know, it's, we're not back to the point. I think it was like 3.11 or 3.12 when it was just completely impossible to quantum anywhere for like the first 24 hours of the patch because there was a bug that they didn't catch. But yeah, I think I think it's purely a server performance issue at this point. I'm pretty sure if I went to anywhere else but new, but Microtech, it would disappear. And once the IE is over later later this week, it, it's gonna be all gone. And we're gonna be back to normal right away. There we go. I mean, look at this. Microtech is just beautiful, and I. Uh, with the volumetric clouds, I I didn't really think that was something I was missing, but now that I see Microtech with the volumetric clouds, I'm like, yes, this is it. Th this is what I wanted. Like, this is the thing that planets were missing visually. Like, immediately when I saw the volumetric clouds, I was like, you know what? Fuck yeah. This, this, is, what, this, this is what we needed. So I am very happy that they, uh, they actually did that. And hopefully they're going to be rolling it out to uh, more planets and more moons. Like uh, uh, Aberdeen is going to be... Aberdeen is going to be crazy. <laughs> because, I mean, that, that thing is just a ball of gas. So I think that's going to be crazy when that, that you know, has volumetric clouds. Hopefully they're going to roll it out with 316. Uh, if not, then not. Uh, I, think they, I think they had some feedback. Uh with the clouds and new babbage, so I think they might be doing some more work on them. Uh, but like the way I see it, it's it's good to go. It just needs you know more colors and just more densities and all that stuff. Uh, we'll have to see how it works. All right, so we're dropping off the first package at Deltana. Deltana actually used to be one of my favorite spots uh, for shooting on Microtech because it used to be in this kind of a valley that was just green and trees and flowers everywhere. Now it's frozen again, uh, but there's uh, I don't remember which one it is, but one of the mining outposts is ha is now that basically, and there's actually like the flower area nearby, so uh, you know not not that much has changed. So like if you don't need an outpost, or if you don't mind having to, you know, if you're using ground vehicles and you don't mind loading them on loading them them up on a ship, then it's perfectly fine to just go to Deltana. Which one goes here? Uh, two for zero. Okay, medical supplies. Pick up the goddamn box. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it goes.
goes in there. Might be able to loot something in there. Yeah, this is uh I mean look at that. You can't really see the clouds from here because we got shitty weather. Uh but I think you know when you actually see them and you're looking over a distance like you're on top of a mountain and you're looking into the distance, then it just looks perfect. Alright. Alright. I I don't think this building's gonna have anything lootable in it. I always forget that the Research outposts have a different, uh, different building type for uh, the reception. Oh, look at that! That's two armor boxes. So the boxes are actually random. Uh, I have been to, like, they do change between servers. So you will find different things. Oh, look at that undersuit. Oh, wait, no. Uh, I think it will fit in my backpack. Yeah, it will. What's in the other one? I got a helmet. Eh, it's ugly helmet, but hey, you know. You, you never know when you're gonna need some, like, random armor. Okay, nothing else in here. That's fine. That's okay. We got some good stuff. Like, that's a free undersuit and a free helmet. So that's, like, 2,000 credits. And obviously, you know, the best way, like, if you're looking for armor, uh, the absolute best way is to just go do a bunker mission. Like, take a couple friends, take four people, go do a bunker mission, and just loot the, loot the corpses. You're gonna have a full set of armor right away, basically. Like, that's, that's what I did with a couple people. We had a couple new guys. They needed some armor. We were like, hey, you know what? Uh, let's go do a bunker. And they picked up some weapons, some armor. They were ready to go. Okay. Let me just get the helmet and the undersuit into the ship. Oh, would you look at that? I already ha I had some weapons in here as well. Like that, this is what I picked up on the last run I was doing. So we got a shotgun. We got yeah, we got two shotguns. We're pretty good actually. It's like just the random stuff you can pick up at outposts. And that, after that, is just knowing which boxes is what and where you can find them around the around the buildings. And once you know that, you're you're good to go. And I think that. I, so I don't know how, like, true this is, but I've only ever found, like, one or two boxes in a bunker. And these outposts, they have, like, three, four, five. And it's usually dependent on... I think it's dependent on how long have they been unvisited. It's like, if nobody goes there for a day, there might be more boxes, they might, ha they might have more stuff in it. And it's really kind of built to support... People going places and people exploring. And I think it's a good little reward. Like, you're not going to make a lot of money from it, even if you take the commodity stuff and you sell it. I think I did it once. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that you can only sell on Grimhex. So you actually have to take it all, load it onto a ship, go to Grimhex, sell it on Grimhex. And I think I only earned, like... I don't know, like 5,000 credits from, from selling commodities from, like... Four or five outposts. So it's not, not that big of a deal. But if you are like a, if you're a new player, and you're just looking to make some extra money, you know you have your aurora or or, or, or whatever, and, and you want to make some extra money, do you know along with doing your mission, it's perfect. I mean, besides the fact that you kind of have to go to Grimhex to to sell some of the stuff, but it's not not that big of a deal for most people. Uh, the only problem I had was that the uh, second time I did that, my ship got stored weird, so I actually lost all the stuff. So I, I I think I actually lost that. I think it just didn't transfer, so it didn't so it jumped back to New Babbage and I couldn't sell it back in New Babbage, and uh, you know it doesn't matter. Like you can just pick stuff up, and I think there's like six or seven commodities that appear, and you can sell two or three of them in in most places. So, you know, just grab everything and sell it as you can, basically. You're going to make a little money on the side, and you're going to learn where to sell where. It's it's a learning curve, just like everything in this game, so. All right. So we're gonna, that's the second package we're delivering. It's a mining facility. I've actually found the mining facilities to be a, a little richer on the boxes, actually. 
They they have more stuff. Uh, there's usually weapons and, and stuff. So, I'm <clears throat> sorry. I'm starting to feel my throat a little bit because uh, I've been. Uh, I, I don't know if you guys are like tracking the situation, uh, but like over here in Czech Republic, it's getting worse. Uh, and we're not closing. Nothing is. There's not going to be a lockdown. Nothing's closing. There's almost no restrictions, basically. Uh, so my school is still open. So we're going to have to sit there for a lot of hours and we got to wear respirators. Uh, you know, it's like, I don't care. I don't mind wearing a respirator, but uh, it, it does screw in my voice. It does screw in my throat. I can feel it. Uh, but, you know, what can you do? Uh, they're refusing to put us online. Uh, it is what it is. It's unfortunate, but hey. Anyway. Back to delivering packages. I think this one's gonna have landing pads properly, so uh, we should be fine. I think as as actually most outposts on Microtech that have landing pads, except the illegal ones and emergency shelters. And there's actually one thing that I would that I, that has been kind of bothering me for the last couple of days now. That, now that I've been doing delivery missions, and uh, a lot of these miss missions, they actually go to they take you to the emergency shelter. And I've been just wondering, like, there are so many emergency shelters on, on a lot of the planets. Uh, like, Microtech has a bunch of them. Uh, you know, Yella, Daymar, Selen, they, they all have emergency shelters. And there doesn't seem to be any, like, commercial purpose to them besides being a destination for delivery missions. So we're picking up 117. That's this one. So... So I've been wondering, like, what is going to be, is there a lore reason, or is there kind of a legacy reason, or is there, you know, is there going to be a reason for emergency shelters? Like, are, you know, are escape pods going to try and navigate and crash near an emergency shelter when you eject out of your ship, you know, above a planet? I think it was a... It was a short film I saw. Like, Oat Studios or something like that. Where a guy ejects out of his ship... And his escape pod basically guides him down to an emergency shelter on on the planet, and there there he survives basically. So I I, I wonder if that's that's gonna be the, the case, as well. But my understanding of escape pods is that they were gonna be unmaneuvering, so they're just gonna eject and just sit in space. Okay, we had a so we have a ammo box here. Might be a weapon in there as well. So what do we have here? So you see you got these uh the Kari pod. You can only sell those at Grim Hex, I think. Uh I will I will take attachments. Yeah, I th I, th I think it did. I, th I think you're right. Uh But yeah, I think that's like one of the things that could be going on there. Uh whether it's going to be true, I don't know. Uh CAG haven't really I couldn't find anything, uh, but to be fair, I didn't really look that hard. So might have missed it. I think I will just go and ask Paul Shelley. Because if, if anyone's gonna know, he's gonna know. That's two magazines. Of it. Like, this transferring stuff, I, I hate it. It's like, just give me a transfer all button, please. Okay, so that's that's it for this outpost. I think I'm actually gonna go check uh, the other building. Because I haven't found any weapons yet. And I feel like I should have found a weapon by now. Oh, there we go. There, there's the crappy weather. Well, the other building is somewhere in that direction. Somewhere through the snow. And it's usually... So the mining building doesn't normally have... Like, sometimes there's going to be a box or two spawning in there. Uh, but I have found a lot of boxes in, in Habitation. In the habitation building that that has a bunch of boxes usually, emergency shelters on Microtech have uh, have a lot of a uh, lot of boxes as well in them. I think I found one where I had like four boxes in one emergency shelter, and they are actually bigger. Like the Microtech emergency shelters are actually bigger than the ones uh, near Crusader. All right, let's see if we have anything in here. No. Interesting. Never, never actually had one of these empty, so that's that's kind of a change. Not not necessarily for the better, but are these lootable by any chance? No. Okay. 
Oh, we can go check the mining building. I think. Oh wait, does the research opposition have a mining building? Wait, no. It's just, yeah, no. This is a mining app. Is it gonna have a mining building? I'm gonna go check it just to see, because I'm curious. And it's right over there. And there we go. Got knocked over a little bit. So that so actually kind of a workaround that I found for the wind is to be wearing heavy armor. Uh, because the heavy armor seems to be dampening. Like if you get thrown away and you hit something, it seems to absorb enough of the impact to for you to be unhurt or only hurt a little bit. So if you have a medgun on, you can just heal, your, heal yourself back up. Or not even a medgun, if you just have the red med pen just to stop the bleeding. That, that will do it. Uh, let's see, is there anything? No? That's just sad. This one's not lootable. Only, only one lootable box in the entire outpost? Must be frequented then. Let's check the last room. Nope. Okay. Okay, let's uh, let's go deliver the last box, which should hopefully. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's like four types of them. It's like four or five types of them. Uh, you got the you got uh, two types of uh, so you got the weapon box, which is like a it's like a long and and thin. And then you got two ammo boxes. You have a bigger one, and a smaller one. And then you have the red box that has armor, and then you have a white box, which usually has like a mix of whatever in it. Yeah, definitely keep an eye out for these. It's uh, even if you don't take the commodities, it's just like free weapons, free ammo, free attachments, you know, free armor. Like it, it, once in a while, you will happen to find some armor that that you like. Oh, I will use this. You know, like I found some uh, red helmets and stuff, and I'm like, oh yeah, if I ever do like a medic photo shoot, this is gonna be pretty good. And like you know, now that you you can lose armor, especially until. Like random deaths are patched around a little bit. It's gonna be pretty nice to have some like random armors, especially if you go like, oh, you know what? Don't have any buddies to play with, but I would like to go do a bunker or do an 890 jump. But I don't want to lose my stuff, so I'm just gonna like throw on some random armor I have on me. You know, so that you don't don't lose your good stuff, basically. Goddamn desync. But yeah, the heavy armor definitely helps with the wind. If you don't get knocked down less, it st still takes you and picks you up and throws you around, uh, but the heavy armor just seems to dampen the damage a little bit. So, you know, you... Like, I was out here running with, like, light armor, and it just... Dead. Like, not even in capacity, just dead. Straight up dead. Uh, and, and then I was running out in medium armor, it would knock me out, and then I would run around in heavy armor, and I'm, I'm fine. Like, 90% of the time, I'm fine. It does knock the box out of my hands, and the box flies a little bit, and you have to wait for it to resync because it disappears, and then it reappears like ten meters away from you, as if it was blown away by the wind. Basically, it's kind of dumb, but as long as it works, like, as long as it doesn't like go away completely, like they have actually broken uh, black boxes in wreck missions, like in crash side missions, where you either can't pick it up, or when you pick it up, it disappears, which is annoying as shit. But I think it's kind of a prelude to kind of the crash site rework in the next patch. I think I think it's gonna be in three sixteen, and it's gonna be awesome. Like I'm I'm really lo looking forward to that because uh, going to crash sites is what I do almost all the time for fun, and now that that is gonna have like more gameplay to it, I think they're actually gonna increase the frequency of those missions to kind of allow people to test that. And it usually pays good money, and now that there's actually going to be loot there, it's going to be a lot more fun. And there's going to be mines and traps and stuff, or jumping mini games or enemies. So it's going to be some adventure. It's going to be good times. Something to do with the, with uh, with some friends, definitely. Let's see what do we have here. Going good. Yeah, I'm. I'm looking forward to that as well. I mean, uh, 
I think we're gonna get it. Like, I, when, I mean, the vulture's probably gonna come in. Actually, no, it got moved again, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, but I think... So, one of the major things, uh, and I think I talked about this on the captain's table, uh, one of my major problems uh, with the new inventory system is that you can't take ship components and transfer them from location to location. And the solution to that is being able to load your components into your ship, into the cargo grid. And I think uh, that's going to come in with the cargo refactor because that's going to allow for different cargo and different sizes of cargo, more importantly. But what I think they could have done... Ah, yes, the great new Babbage EMP that turns off your engine when you arrive. It's going to come back on before I crash. There we go. Yeah, so I, so I think what they could do once they have that cargo grid refactor is, uh, even if it's not going to be salvage, not exactly, is that there will be components in the crashed ships, uh, and some of them will be destroyed, some of them will be not destroyed, and you'll be able to pull them out with your tractor beam, load them onto your ship as if they were cargo, and then take them, and uh, let's say it's going to be like a little salvage machine, right? You put it on, it's going to be in the hangar bay. You put it on there, and it's, it's going to be like the delivery missions we have for boxes. And you put it there, the machine takes it, and it's going to get transferred into your inventory. Even if it's not going to, you know, show in, in your actual inventory. But it's going to be transferred. You're going to, you're going to have it in your possession. You're going to be able to put it on your ships. It's probably not going to be very good stuff. Uh, let's be honest. It's probably not going to be very good <laughs> if you're going to be salvaging it out of a ship. But, uh, hey, components are always good. But, you know, there might be something good. Like, if it's, uh, you know, loot is spawned randomly. It's, you know, uh, general, you know it's randomly generated uh, loot containers. So, hey, there might be a chance that, you know, you go to a crash site and you're like, oh, this thing has a grade A military quantum drive. I'm going to take that for myself. You know, so there's a chance it might happen. And I think that's one of the gameplays they could explore for salvage. I mean, it's not salvage salvage, it's kind of like pseudo salvage, but, you know, it's something. Like, I think it would be enough to placate temporarily the salvage community. And at the same time, it would be like a pretty good gameplay loop to be added. But it does require some uh, programming that's kind of on top of the exist yeah, hand salvage, basically. It's basically hand salvage, except you're not salvaging the material, just salvaging the components and the weapons. It, but it does require extra coding on top of uh, everything else. And it would probably need a, lot, a little bit more thinking so that it would be reusable for other things, basically. Or not reusable, but so that it would have a future, basically, in the grand scheme of things. Nice. Right. Look at that. Look at that new Babbage sunset. I absolutely love sunsets in New Babbage. Look at that. You know, look at the colors and everything. Absolutely amazing. I love New Babbage. It's just fucking cold and, and it's windy and it's far away. But at least there are more missions now, so it's kinda kinda worth going here now. Okay, let's offload shit from the ship inventory. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Like, I absolutely love New Babbage. And, you know, the interiors look good, the exteriors look good. Uh, it's not as laggy as, as Orison. That's, that's good. I, I, I do like New Babbage a lot. Alright, now let me unload stuff from the vehicle. Don't really need any of this in here. I mean... Uh, I mean, I generally like sunsets on, on most planets. Uh, Arcorp is kind of weird. Arcorp doesn't look that good, but uh, like Hurston looks amazing if you look at sunsets or sunrises at Hurston. All right, let's see if we got the mission. Let's see if we got the reputation first. I think I should have. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, so I do actually have the better reputation. It's going to give me the tier 2 mission now. Yes! Okay.
Okay, so it's gonna be a. So, so I'm gonna be picking it up under fire, basically. I think is the idea. So I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to equip a weapon. Yeah, that that is true. Orc group does have the nighttime city to it. I'm gonna run the C54. C54 is a little wild for me. I will do. I will do the custodian. I do like the custodian quite a lot. Uh, I don't think I have any of the proper stuff for it. Let me try the new site. I'm kind of curious about the new site. And uh, I think that's that's actually about everything I can put on it. I don't really have any other attachments. All right, let's uh, let's put on. Oof. I'm inside my ship now. Let's put on some custodian ammo because I firmly believe I have some. There we go. Probably have some more. I wish I could actually like, I wish there was a key that would be like stack. Oh, is this sword gonna do that? Sweet. Wait, did all my, was that all my custodian ammo? Three magazines, is that it? <laughs> That's not a whole lot. Let me just kind of look around these because sometimes it's going to show you a different icon. Okay, I guess that was that was it for. Uh, let me just refresh the inventory first, though. There we go. Yeah. So, oh, did it not stack them? They look stacked. No, they they're repeated. Okay. All right, and I think that was my last custodian magazine. Is that then it's Ravager magazine? So I got four magazines plus whatever's uh, plus whatever's uh, in the sh in the pistol already. Actually, I'm gonna put on the arc light because I have some arc light ammo. Oh, I have one magazine of arc light ammo. Okay, that's fair. Oh well, it will have to do. So I got, I have a met tool, I have, do I have a pistol in there somewhere? Of course I don't. Oh, I do. Okay, it snapped in. Perfect. Okay, I think we're, I think we're ready to go do the 45,000 credits delivery mission. I am so gonna die. I am. 100% definitely gonna die. Then again, I, I believe uh, there's gonna be good guys in the... Uh... Of course, of course I dropped down. Ah, where's the thing? No, of course, creaming, there we go. Of course I'm gonna... So there, uh, as far as I know, uh, there's gonna be good guys in the in the bunker. So they're gonna be fighting the bad guys. I might be able to grab some stuff. Uh, generally, as long as I go in, I get the box and I get out, I think it's gonna be fine. And I do have heavy armor and I have a med gun on me, so I should technically be fine in case something happens, but. We'll see. I mean, the performance is bad, so I expect the AI to be a little derpy. So they'll be like teleporting all around me. So I'm gonna have to watch my back, and hopefully the box is not gonna be like all the way at the back, the back of the whole whole bunker behind all the enemies. <laughs> so speaking of which, I'm gonna grab cold arms in case I have to shoot someone, uh, because cold arms actually now pays you for uh, ground targets as well. They finally added that, so <laughs> so you can actually uh, earn a little bit of money on top of everything. Obviously, I'm gonna see if I can uh, can do this without too much shooting. That's that's not what I want to do. And hopefully, the turrets are gonna be down, because I'm going to the data center and I'm hoping it's not the kind where oh the turrets are gonna be shooting at you. Because the Pisces is not exactly the best ship to be going up against that. I can run though, and I do have plenty of flares since the defensive turrets now have missiles.
Like, I believe it's gonna be it's gonna be good guys in there. I think actually all bunkers except the ones where it's like evict illegal uh, occupants is they have friendlies in there. So you have to really watch out uh, as to who you're shooting at. So it's kind of good to have a kind of a mental image of what I usually do when, especially when I go to a place where I don't know what the security looks like. I will just hang at the entrance and see who see who's not shooting at me. <laughs> <laughs> or you know see who is shooting at who and generally you're, you'll be able to tell the bad guys uh, the bad guys just look at your look like your regular nine tells you know with the blue red blue red black our corp guards look look very similar to that so don't shoot the our corp guards that's what i did in the ptu and they were not happy and it's not just like when you kill them it's like even when you shoot the guy it's assault and they start shooting at you and you get cram stats yeah because they look very similar, like the Arcorp guards, like, god damn, that was, but totally my bad. Like the Crusader guards, they look completely different, they're like white-blue, and Microtech guards are the same, I think. They're like, they're like pale blue and, and white. We'll see, we'll see when we get there, there are gonna be Microtech guards down here. Now... I'm gonna slow that. So it's between mountains, so I should be like, if, if there are turrets, I should be relatively able to like park behind an obstacle and then just walk in since the turrets won't shoot at you when you're uh, on the ground. Not not too great that there are mountains, but yeah, look, there's a little hill there. Well, if there were turrets, they would already be shooting at me. There's a turret. And it's clearly not shooting at me yet. And I'm going to do my favorite move on outposts with turrets when I when I don't trust the turret. I'm gonna park behind the behind the strut so the turret can't shoot at me even if it decides to do so. I'm gonna have to carry the box further, but uh, you know what? It's for the peace of mind. Of you know, hey, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lose my uh, lose my ship and get stranded here. Am I going to be able to walk back up? Okay, that's good. Alright, so... First, check weapons, perfect. Oh, look at that, he even like does, does a little check. I think it, I think when you have a ballistic gun, he will actually like pull back the slide a little bit. Yeah, stretch those space legs, right? Ooh, this side... Yeah. Okay, we got plenty of ammo. That side actually looks pretty good. Like, I prefer holographic sights uh, to the... Red dots. Generally, in real life too. I, I prefer holographics. I, uh, but yeah. That's pretty nice. I like that they actually fixed the animation of checking your weapon. I go, I reload. Okay, he looks at the ammo count. But it's not showing the ammo count. But that's fine. Okay, where's the box? Show me the box. This is not going to give me a marker for the box. Am I going to have to go and find it myself? Am I going to have to shoot everyone? Alright, let me just, is there going to be like a box number or, or, or what? Oh, so there are actually three boxes and I don't have markers for them. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Okay, new plan. Shoot everybody and worry about the boxes later. <laughs> because I don't see any markers right now. I have plenty of ammo for an extended firefight, so... And this thing... This thing does have a pretty insane rate of fire, so I'm gonna have to, like, conserve ammo. Okay, no markers. That's kind of sad, but... I can work with that. Okay, it looks like the guards are patrolling. Yeah, look at that. That's AI at its finest. Actually patrolling the facility. Now I just need to find the boxes. Hello, sir. Don't mind me walking around your facility with my gun drawn. I am doing it for everybody's safety. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a wild guess that the boxes I'm looking for are 
all the way at the bottom of this place, hidden in a storeroom, where nobody can find them. No, I think I heard some hostile AI. Oh, we're looking at the ammo box. Let's see, what do we have? Don't mind if I do. I do need size one suppressors. Anyway. Am I at the right spot? I think I'm at the right spot. I am so gonna get shot. Another ammo box, cool. Let's just wait for the AI to go away. Okay, ammo box that has no ammo in it, cool. Oh, they actually have worker AI, that's actually very cool. D did not see that on any, any of my playthroughs. It's a weapon box, cool, cool, cool. Anything good? Lots of good stuff, actually. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna pick up the Lumen. It, it, yeah. it, it does kill some immersion, uh, but at least for the time being, uh, when the game is being annoying, it would definitely help a lot of things. Okay, I have found zero boxes. I've actually found zero boxes that look like they could be something I can pick up. Which is weird. But then again, the mission hasn't updated either, so... Can I... Is this, is this it? Nope. No. Nope. I like I'm just like casually walking around with my gun drawn and nobody cares. I think I'm here for a mission, so they probably know I'm coming and they probably know why I'm here. And, uh, and I guarantee you the moment I'm gonna put away my weapon, the bad guys are gonna spawn. Oh, look at that. That's the... Okay, that's, that's the big white box I was talking about. This one usually has, like, a mix of whatever in it. Yeah, let's see. So got weapons, got some ammo. Got, got all the stuff. Yeah, I'm doing the doing this tier 2 delivery mission. Uh, but I can't find any of the boxes. Oh, there, there is a box. Is this one of my boxes? Okay, I'm gonna... Let's see, let's see if the mission says... Oh, okay, so it is my box. Perfect. So I found one. And there are two more. And I'm just gonna like sprint to, to the elevator. Because I guarantee you bad guys are gonna start spawning. Uh, I have three. So I have three boxes that I need to pick up. And I just found one. Okay. That, that is one. Uh, yeah, there we go. It's It's marked. Okay. So that's, so that's how I know that it's mine, right? That it gives me the mission update. Okay, how many is it like? Yeah, there we go. Now the, now the firefight has begun. There we fucking go. I am gonna get shot by some random ass AI. Okay, they're all part of the pallets, okay. Someone's shooting at me. Okay, this spawn closet is clear. Okay, that's one bad guy. That clearly didn't have a very good time. Oh. That was, uh... Oh, crap. Shit. Told you. Told you that was that's what was gonna happen. I was gonna get shot in the back. By a random AI. So now what? I could call a medical beacon. Alright. Well, let's see if anybody uh, anybody show, shows up for me. 
I'm gonna give it a couple minutes, and if nobody accepts it, I'm just gonna give up, fly back. Actually, I think it's gonna. I think if I give up, it's actually gonna kill the mission. Oof. Yeah, he's he's over there somewhere. He was like to my side or something like that. Yeah, I mean the spawn clauses they they work fine. Uh you just kind of have like AI being there you go. It was he's just looking straight at me. Oh, is he going to finish me off? He's going to finish me off. Oh. Yeah, look at so much accuracy from from the AI. Can I zoom out a little bit? There we go. Okay. Looks like it's clear now. <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to pick up my mission, though. Oh, there's a big, a big firefight going on over there. Yes, thank you for stumping all over my dead body. Damn. Kind of, kind of hilarious to watch the AI fight it out. Are they, are they like hitting each other with their guns over there? Hey, anybody willing to come and rescue me? <laughs> really? Yeah. That's true. Yeah, that is true. I, no one's probably paying attention to the beacons. So it's like, oh, fuck you. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna backspace. It's gonna bring me back to New Babbage. And I'm gonna come back for my stuff. Oh well. That one... That one will. Yeah, generally I don't play solo. I was hoping someone would join me today. Uh, but nobody wanted to join me, so... Eh, that's fine. I imagine the mission probably failed though, because I died. So I, so I guess I'm not gonna be getting my stuff. Oh well. We'll see though, it might have not failed. I, I think the best option might be like, grab a box, run it to the elevator, and then wait for the AI to shoot each other, then clear the place again. Grab, this, try and find the second box, grab it, run into the elevator, wait for the AI to shoot each other, and just kind of take it slow, basically. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, someone was gonna get to me at some point. Like, yeah, I don't think the. I think I might be in the the black screen, like completely stuck. Which is kind of sucked because that, that was a good armor and it was expensive. Right, it's it's like, like thirty minutes after I talked about you know using shit armor for for missions. Oh, there we go. Finally respawned. Seems like I had the respawn sound. Still, still no medical bed though. Uh, there we go. Oh, mission still looks up. So that's good. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like New Babbage was actually like despawned, so. <clears throat> Alright. Let me just throw on an undersuit and a helmet and probably like a pistol or something. And I'm just gonna like run in, grab my stuff. If I get it looted this one, I'm gonna like wear it. Alright, oh, I have to wear for wait for my medical gown to spawn in. Well might as well get on the way to the spaceport. Excuse me, I would like to go. Yes, thank you. And then I'm just like gonna go back to the outpost, take the Avenger. And, and get my stuff back. Good times though. 
But yeah, I kind of expected that to happen. <laughs> okay, I 100% expected that to happen. <laughs> oh, so it's actually showing me my corpse. Cool. So, so we know it's still there. I think I'm just gonna like put on some. Uh, I think I'm just gonna like put on an undersuit and and, and a gun. Because the I think all the enemy AI is dead by now. Oh come on, for fuck's sakes! Come on. Really? Like a rubber band being across the entire floor? Okay. Toss this. Don't need this. I said toss it. There we go. Put on a crap undersuit. Put on a crap helmet. And we're good to go. Where's the Yeah, you know what? Might as well put in the put on this one. Let's put on a weapon and just in case there's some bad guys left. Fuck it, you know what? Let's do. I could do the C54, no problem. Yeah, let's do the C54. I'm not even gonna put any any attachments on it. Uh, but I'm going to grab. I don't have any ammo for it. Oh, that's just sad. Okay, I guess I'm gonna run without ammo, but it's fine. I'll just hurry up and uh, go get the stuff. This place is way too bright. Okay. Time to grab the Avenger. Go back there, grab the stuff, and uh, it's gonna be all fine. I, I did think, though, that the heavy armor would protect me some more, because I feel like I died on the first shot. Exit that way. Yes, I would like to exit this place. I have already been here once today. That, that is enough for, for one stream. <clears throat> but yeah, this just kind of highlights the importance of like, oh, if you're going to be doing a combat mission, better better bring a friend, you know. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, the, you do have the boxes spawning in there. You can grab some more stuff, so it's you know it's, it's fine. It's been a, actually a pretty satisfying uh, gameplay for me, trying to get there. Uh, but probably I'm gonna try to grab like one or two more people when I'm doing these combat deliveries. Cause that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be annoying. Or if if I just have like one more person who's gonna be there and like if if I get shot they can just run in and revive me. All right, let's go. Where park occurring outside? <laughs> I I still so there are two things wrong with that statement. Number one, I don't have a Karak. Number two, uh, I don't know if they fixed the respawning because I I know that I know I know you should be able to respawn in the Karak, uh, but. Uh, it didn't work. It didn't work in 3.15. I don't know if they fixed it in 3.15.1. So that's kind of a caveat there. So I don't know if it's going to work. And I don't have a Karak, so... And I can't rent fun anymore. Alright. Note to self, bring a friend next time. It's, it's for the best. Sorry, but I was just checking on uh, on the stream. I mean, I do get stream stats on the YouTube studio, but don't I get more stats in OBS. Like, the YouTube studio doesn't show um, drop frames and all that kind of stuff. And we're not dropping any frames, so that's good. 
I've actually had a, so I've been, so this is like week four of uh, streaming on YouTube, which is unbelievable. Uh, but yeah, it, it might be. I, I, they probably fixed it. I think they probably fixed it because it was kind of a critical issue. Yeah, yeah. So you do need to have some spares on the ship. That's true. But yeah, so uh, week four of streaming on YouTube, and kind of two things that I've noticed: uh, watch time is going going up, which is good. Uh, Basically, like if you miss the stream uh, and you go back and you watch it, it's gonna give me the watch time, which is just fine, which is great. And I think it, it, it even gives me watch time for the stream itself, which is great. So that's like two, three hours that I get, which is nice, depending on how many people hang out. And just generally, from a technical standpoint, I'm having a much better experience than with Twitch. Like Twitch would constantly give me networking issues. Like it just would drop frames, it would, there would be jitter, there would be lag. And yet on YouTube, no, no such problems. Now I just need to learn how to do channel splitting, where the audio is going to be split into channels, so it's, it's slightly easier to do. Uh, slightly easy, easier to do highlights, but that's you know progress to be made. Right, let's take the Avenger. I don't want to claim the. I don't want to claim the Pisces because then the third is going to get angry, and it's going to start shooting at everything. That's gonna suck. All right, let's go. I mean, hanging out at New Babbage really reminds me of why I hate New Babbage, and that is because uh, it takes way too long to get anywhere. Why is my ramp open? Did I forget to close my ramp last time? Oh well. Close the door. Okay, there we go. Damn it. I don't know what the time on your corpse is. I think I think it stays there until you log out or until you die three more times. Because I think it only keeps three instances of your corpse. Come on, let's, let's, let's go on. Let's get on with the with the ramp. Not not the ramp, the door, please. There we go. We we got places to be. I'm definitely catching a cold. That's no good. I have better things to do than being sick. All right, let's get let's get out of here. Anyway, so Friday is going to be either it's going to be a tutorial short or it's going to be a longer video on components. I think I'm going to do a video on quantum drives and then uh, Monday is going to be, I don't know what, but I, I have something in the backlog that I wanted to do for a while. So it's going to be that. Might be a review on the raft, actually, if, if the raft comes out and it's a flyable, and it's straight flyable, which it should be as far as I know. So it might be a raft review. What is this nonsense? Star Citizen. And dying for no reason and, and all that all that good stuff. You know, just the usual star citizen things. I'm gonna have to go to do Yeah, an Avenger, obviously. It's a pretty good ship. I, I it's my starter actually. Uh it works. I think it's actually one of the, it's probably the best starter. Then again, you I wouldn't buy it as the starter. Like I would buy like an Aurora and then CCU. All right. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to quantum to Tressler because the quantum is broken again. But yeah, I like the Avenger. It's it's a good ship. I just uh, don't fly that much when I'm flying through a planet because it does slow down quite a lot. But since my Pisces is left at the bunker where I died, I kind of have to take something else. The Mustang is good. Uh, my problem with the Mustang is that. It is very, very difficult to get a box in it. Like, you definitely need to have a tractor beam. Especially on the starter Mustang, the Alpha. Because there's like that little notch behind the seat. So if you want to do box delivery missions, that's 
not gonna happen. So it just kind of cuts off that cuts off that one avenue of income for new players. It is a good fighter and it's a good ship though. So like if like if you want to do more bounty hunting that kind of and that kind of stuff with your starter ship, then Mustang is probably the better choice than the Aurora, obviously. But I think at the end of the day, everybody's just gonna end up CCUing to the Avenger anyway. Because I mean, it's not. I think it's like a. Not sure if the price is still that, but when uh, back when I CCU'd from an Aurora to to an Avenger, uh, the CCU was like twenty dollars, and you get a much much better ship. Like uh, with the Avenger. Not not saying that I would actually recommend doing it, but if you really want to do cargo running, and you don't have a whole lot a whole lot of money to rent like a Cuddy Black or whatever. Uh, you definitely can run some cargo with the Avenger because you got ASU of cargo. If you run like medical supplies from outpost to outpost, you're actually going to make some money. And that's actually something that I did when I didn't have a Cuddy Black before I got the Cuddy Black and I only had the Avenger. I would just load it up with medical supplies and just go to a different outpost, like a mining outpost, and I would have like a 30% margin on the price. So I would be actually pulling in like tens of thousands of credits with like one easy run. And it's like, you will have outposts where you have a, I think it's on Selen, where you have a research outpost and like an 80 kilometer away from it, you have a mining outpost or something. So you can just fly back and forth and you're going to make thousands of credits like that. No problem. All right, we're back where we, where we died. Hopefully we're not going to die anymore. Hopefully the... Friendly AI cleared out the non-friendly AI, which it appeared it, it appeared that that's what happened. As I, I was watching as, as I was dead. Now right, we're gonna park this and we're gonna get out and we're gonna. Okay, I think I'm, I, I need more space to land this thing, so I'm gonna land it over here, and just to hope that the third doesn't go crazy. Exit ship and let's go. So I only have an undersuit, so hopefully there's not going to be any shooting down there, because that would suck. Because I'm definitely not equipped to be shot at right now. And okay, at least I have ammo in the gun. That's good. So what has been actually happening to me recently is uh, I would pick up a gun, and the gun would have no ammo in it. What was the does this thing only have one fire mode? <laughs> that was B, right? No? Okay, never mind. That I would pick up a gun from my inventory and the gun would have no ammo in it. It hasn't been happening with like... Uh... Oh, I think this is going to be a problem. Did the box go back in there? Because I left the box on the elevator. So did the box despawn? Oh, there's definitely shooting down there. That's no good. I, I am not equipped for a firefight. I am definitely gonna die again. Oh well. Living has been good. Okay. That's friendly. Let's try to like clear my way, my body. Good. Okay, empty spawn closet. Okay, there's a worker in there in that spawn closet. So this is probably clear. Some shooting over there. Yeah, that box may be gone. But I'm gonna look around anyway. Okay. Now I Equip, equip, quick, quick, equip, equip everything, faster. <laughs> okay, that should give me my med gun back. Ah, come on, I want the, there we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking it might have respawned at its original position. Okay, it looks like I got everything except the helmet and I would like to, oh, right, I can't equip the helmet because I, oh. Shit. Whew. 
That was close. <laughs> God damn. Whew. All right. All right, all right. Okay, now I gotta unequip my helmet and uh, grab my actual helmet. And I'm definitely gonna get shot in the head while I'm doing this, so. This gun is completely useless, and I should not have grabbed it. So I think I'm actually gonna run back. And uh, I wonder where my gun went though, because I had a gun on me. Uh, but I'm guessing it probably despawned. Doesn't look like it's under me. So I'm running out of ammo pretty bad right now. Which is not good. So I think I'm gonna try and either locate a bad guy with a weapon I want to use. Ah, uh, okay, that's that's actually a good idea. I'm gonna I'm gonna go look real quick. Let's see loot. No, it's just the undersuit. That sucks. I thought it would be... Because I, I had it in my hands, so it probably fell, so it's probably just gonna, you know, fall in somewhere, basically. Like, guns do disappear, so it's probably just, like, somewhere. I'm just gonna, like, pick up a weapon off of one of these guys. Drop this one. I'm gonna pick up this one. And maybe I can like loot some ammo. Uh, this guy has a ravager. Let's see if this guy this guy should have what I have. Loot, please. Yeah, this guy has PSC magazine, so I'm gonna I'm gonna grab those. And that should like give me some more ammo. Except obviously I don't have the weapon UI, which is great. All right, let's try try again and find the boxes. Uh, nothing on these racks. I think I saw. Let me just like go back and check everything near the entrance. Just make it easier on myself. See if anything is like here. Right at the front. It doesn't look like. This is more difficult than I anticipated, not gonna lie. But I mean, they do pay, you know, 45,000 credits for it, so... Kinda have to expect some level of difficulty. But I think at this point, I am... Clear of all, uh... Of all hostile AI. I'm gonna keep... Okay, my gun does fire, that's good. So I'm just gonna like go through. Okay, this looks like one of the boxes. Yep, yeah, that was a mission update. And I'm just gonna sprint this to the elevator. And then I'm gonna wait for the AI to shoot each other. And I'm not gonna put it on the elevator, I'm gonna put it next to the elevator. And I shall wait. So far, no, no gunfire. So... It's possible that the bad guys only spawn, like, in one wave. That's... Ow, oh, come on! Seriously? Really? Oh, he was behind me? Nope. Oh yeah, I'm dead. I'm all the way dead now. <laughs> so somehow he appeared behind me, because there was the one guy in front of me that I was like not sure because there was the uh, the haze going on. 
Okay, I'm starting to think that this is not gonna be a mission for a solo person. Because this is like second time I died there. They do spawn in waves when you uh when you pick up the box. So that's something that's good to know. Why is it putting me a cruel one though? This should be a new babbage. And when you take more damage when you're knocked out, you're gonna because I think he shot me, that knocked me down. And I thought it was the guy in front of me, but it was the guy behind me. And then he shot me again, which killed me all the way. So they can actually kill you all the way, which is kind of an important thing that, that everybody should know. In any case... I think I'm done losing gear for one day. And I don't particularly want to go back there again. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to like give it one more shot. Because I'm annoyed. Or do I? I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to like do it again with someone else because I think the boxes are gonna despawn again. But just out of curiosity, I'm gonna go check because I'm curious, and I'm too curious for my own good. All right, so where am I? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm dead. I'm all these things and everything, so it's like. Yeah, that is no. I think uh, I think I saw a bad guy like when I when I died and before I it knocked me all the way down. I think I saw the bad guy behind me. I I think that's that's what happened there. You know, what, I think I'm gonna like leave it for the day and come back tomorrow with with some friends and try to do it that way. Hopefully, I'm not gonna lose the reputation by failing the mission. Uh, this is just gonna take forever. I'm gonna rubber band back so. And we've been here for two hours, and I'm getting a little bit hungry, so... So I think I'm gonna call it for tonight. Uh, lessons that were learned, and the mission is still cool. I think it's still a very cool mission, I just need to bring some fucking friends and not try to do, do combat missions solo, because that's a terrible idea. In any case, thank you all for stopping by and hanging out. Uh, like I said, there's gonna be a video on Friday, there's gonna be a video on Monday, and a stream on Tuesday. Uh, and probably I'm gonna be posting some other stuff in between. Uh, with that being said, that's, that's going to be it for tonight. Again, thank you all for hanging out. Uh, I will see you next week. Fly safe. Uh, yeah, fly safe, take some pictures, and uh, I will see you in the verse. Have, have a good night, guys.